The Space and Missile Defense Symposium was held last week in Huntsville, Alabama, where military and industry leaders discussed the future of missile defense. The commander of U.S. Strategic Command, Admiral Chaz Richard, spoke at the event. His command is responsible for nuclear deterrence and global strike. What's his unit's biggest need to complete the mission? Well, he said it's a robust missile warning capability. He said missile warning is critical so that he knows how to posture and use his forces to respond to rapidly expanding missile threats, such as hypersonic weapons, cruise missiles, unmanned aerial systems, and several novel weapon systems. He noted that a Chinese test last year of a fractional orbit bombardment hypersonic system was something the world hadn't seen. The United Kingdom will have balloons provide a stratospheric comms, intel, and reconnaissance. Sierra Nevada will demonstrate the balloon's capabilities as part of the UK's Project Ether. That's according to an August news release from the company that puts the contract at $121 million. With their minimal weight, high altitude balloons have attracted attention for their ability to remain in the air for long periods of time while conducting surveillance operations, as well as their potential capability to track hypersonic weapons. And back on this side of the pond, U.S. lawmakers have also signaled their interest in the technology. The Senate version of the National Defense Authorization Act, or FY23, puts $15 million towards stratospheric balloon research. The bill also includes an additional $10.2 million for high altitude balloons for Southcom as an unfunded requirement or wish list item under its classified programs list. If you've got electronics on the battlefield, your biggest foe might be feline. The U.S. Air Force's Air Combat Command is testing Georgia Tech Research Institute's next generation electronic warfare equipment, better known as the Angry Kitten Kit. That kitten isn't just cute, it's also smart. During the evaluations this year, the Air Force says the kit was reprogrammed overnight to account for what it had encountered in its previous mission. That's a big accomplishment, according to the Air Force, because electronic warfare software tends to be rigid. Researchers call this technology Cognitive EW, which uses machine learning and other sophisticated tech to select ways to jam enemy signals and analyze its performance before self-correcting. U.S. officials have said that dominating the electromagnetic spectrum will be critical in a fight with China or Russia. As Russia continues its invasion of Ukraine, NATO is beefing up its air defenses along the alliance's eastern flank. Member countries have deployed more fighter jets and missile defense systems to protect against air and missile threats. NATO says this enhanced deterrence is purely defensive. It says its air shielding deployment lasts from weeks to months adding that its legacy air policing mission has not changed and that the Allied fighter jets are on alert 24-7 to respond to any threat in Allied airspace.